Now official Sherwin Williams is staying home. 154 year old paint maker confirmed today it will spend more than $600 million on a new headquarters downtown. It is a story you saw first on three. That deal also includes building a research center in Brexville. Mark Namick shares details about the economic impact. The announcement ends months of speculation and fear that the brand name company would leave the region, taking with it a $500 million payroll. City, county, and state officials said Thursday they spent months pulling together incentives worth millions that include tax breaks and construction grants. Local lawmakers will reveal the details in the coming weeks as they vote on the deal. We have to keep Sherwin-Williams here. It would be horrible for the county if Sherwin-Williams picked up and left. It was incumbent on us to come up with an agreement. We needed everybody to come together around this project in order to keep them. and. Uh, everybody came together. The incentive package offered to Sherwin-Williams, possibly the biggest in Cleveland history. This incentive package, uh, in terms of dollar amount and in terms of duration, will be uh, uh, higher than I think any others that we've done as, that I've been mayor. In return, Sherwin-Williams says it will build a one million square foot headquarters just west of Public Square on what is now parking lots. The company will also build a 500,000 square foot research and development center in Brexville on the site of the former Veterans Hospital. It's a big win for the city and the region, but Cleveland will actually lose hundreds of jobs because the current research facility is located downtown. We had a difficult time uh, um, accumulating the kind of acreage that they would need to have a joint headquarters and research facility that allow for the expansion that they know they would need in, in, in the future. I'm standing on a key piece of real estate that unfortunately for decades has been a parking lot. This is the future home of Sherwin-Williams new headquarters and it extends behind me. This, the uh, city and the company have not released plans of what it's going to look like, but the city assures us it's going to really transform downtown, blend in, and uh, construction is expected to start this summer. It won't be done till 2023. But Sarah, I think you'll probably hear complaints about missing parking spots. You know, I think there are always complaints, Mark, but it seems like they will certainly be front and center in the square. Part, a point of pride for Cleveland. All right, thanks.